Hey you guys, welcome back to Geek in the Closet and today we are going to be looking at Rebel Tech's Raphael figure. Now here's a quick look at the box packaging. As you can see, Raphael comes with the similar box packaging, the window box packaging as the other two turtles that I've already reviewed. It says Raphael right there, of course the box is in red and on this side you can see a gorgeous art of Raphael himself. And on the back are actually some suggestions of how you can pose them and uh, the accessories that he comes with and together with the four turtles that are already available. Now these are the accessories that come together with Raphael. And I must say that I'm a little bit disappointed considering the fact that the other two turtles that I've already reviewed came with a multitude of accessories but Raphael came with only these guys of course he actually came together with the stand as well which I will show you in a bit but let's have a closer look at the alternative head right there of course it is wonderfully painted wonderfully done I love this um, ah! figure right here it, it's 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 um, very cool compared to the other two there Pegle for the uh, extra cloth to hang down from the back of his head, of course. Okay, and these are the two salad thongs that came together with it, or, or you can call it size. There's a peg right there, which is great. Wonderfully painted. Alright, both of these are exact same thing go silver metallic color right there and brown right here and a slightly golden color on the edge right there this is not very sharp so you don't have to worry or anything but of course I wouldn't uh, put this near any kid any, any, any child of yours or whatsoever um, it is actually made from a soft Kind of hard plastic but I would consider it soft as well so you have to be very careful when uh, storing this or putting this somewhere because it will definitely break. Now here's a look at the stand that came together with Raphael figure. It looks like a post box but I'm not too sure what this is. So um, similar to the rest of them it pegs right here so minimal assembly is required like so and uh, it slants like that as well yeah so compared to Michelangelo's base stand right here it's relatively shorter way shorter compared to it and here's a look at Leonardo's stand which is the um, pipe which connects to the broken wall right there and it is approximately the same height as Raphael's so let's have a look at Raphael being on top of this base stand right here. As always, the pig is right at the bottom of this shelf. So, okay, just, just nicely, very easily, and there you go. Here's Raphael on top of this display stand right there. I would have preferred it to, I don't know, I still prefer Michelangelo's display stand just because it's slightly taller compared to the rest of them. Now here's a look at Raphael himself. And I must say he is a bulkier figure compared to the other two turtles. He, he also weighs a little bit more as well. So... Yeah, here's a look at Raphael. There's uh, the, the the crack that distinguishes Raphael right there. It is very very unfortunate for this figure for me though because of this um, this uh, partition over here. This opening over here is is very very obvious, as in like something on the inside is actually pushing it apart so you can actually tell 
that is with this hole right there it's very very obvious I, I tried to push it in I tried to dismantle it and whatsoever but it didn't work that is very unfortunate for me but and uh, aside from that there's a little bit of paint problems on this head I can see clearly on his lower lip right there I think there is a Yep, there's definitely a miss paint on his lower lip a little bit. There's still a little bit of white. It's supposed to be green though. So it gives it like a kind of facial expression right there. So that is unfortunate. And it's a little bit annoying for me too because I'm a little bit OCD. So that bothers me. Okay, so... Um, Definitely his legs are much more bigger, much more bulkier compared to the other two turtles. That is a definite. His uh, side holsters are on the back right here. And let's see whether it fits properly. It is also, um, yeah, it, it fits in like so. Oh, it is, but it does not hold them very well. That is, oh, that is a little bit annoying too, see? See? I would prefer, probably, I don't know, if it, if these guys were to be able to fit them and if they were to hold him tightly, then that would be great, but this is unfortunate, see? Oh. He, he has a a longer cloth of his mask right there and uh, you can actually see the tattered look on the cloth right there compared to the other two turtles and uh, the same elbow pads the same um, what is that bandages around his wrist as well as his fingers the same as the two turtles there are no peg holes on his feet peg holes right here of course and uh, if I'm not mistaken we'll see later that uh, the bandages on this on his wrist is darker compared to the other two turtles maybe we'll see later now here's a look at Ralphie together with his alternative head and I must say that his head is like so far the most entertaining compared to Jack, the other alternative hits for Michelangelo and Leonardo. <laughs> so I want to show you how well, oh no, oh, oh, his hands are popping up. So how well his size go in his palm right there. So, so this fits perfectly well on both hands. Okay. Now what I want to test out if he can actually hold the size in between his fingers like he, like he normally does. And he can. He can actually do it. However, he does not peg onto his uh, fingers of course. But what you can do is this, which, is, which looks really, really good. Go. Now here's a look at Raphael compared to his other two brothers that I've already reviewed. Here's Michelangelo. And I must say, there are actually distingu uh, distinguishable Differences compared to, to to Michelangelo right here in terms of the body right there Raphael is slightly It's actually a lot more Buffer a lot more built compared to Michelangelo the color of The bandages on his wrist his uh, feet and his knee pads together with his elbow pads are of a different color 
That's great. That's fantastic, actually. Um, his skin tone is slightly of a darker green compared to Michelangelo too. That is accurate, unfortunately, for the height. They're almost of the same height. I don't know, maybe you guys can actually let me know if this is very accurate or, or so. If, if it's according to me, it is definitely not accurate because Michelangelo is supposed to be so much more shorter compared to Raphael. Maybe not too much, but maybe uh, just a little bit. And here's a look at Leonardo compared to Raphael. Now, Leonardo is slightly taller than Raphael, which is great. Um, the skin, uh, the, the, the skin pink right there is of a different tone as well. Almost similar to Leonardo's, but uh, it's definitely different, which is great. Now, here's the difference. The bandages on his feet, together with uh, Leonardo's wrist right there, is of a different color compared to the rest as well. And, uh, yeah, and uh, Raphael is so much more buffer compared to him, compared to Leonardo too. The, the, the feet, uh, the leg right there, is of a different thickness compared to Leonardo, and uh, his arms are of a more muscular. It's uh, yeah, definitely more muscular as well, which is awesome. Now, of course, in terms of articulation, Raphael has a similar articulation as the other two turtles. And if you are familiar with Rebel Tech articulation, you would know that he uh, comes in these joints right here, on his neck, on his shoulders, on his elbow, his wrist, his fingers, his waist right there, his leg here, his knees, and he has an ankle rocker, he has articulation on the loin cloth, uh, I mean the cloth hanging out right there, and uh, together with his eyes as well. Now I must say that Raphael is the weakest one among the three turtles. Uh, I've done the review of Michelangelo and Leonardo, please do check that out if you haven't. Weakest, I mean, in terms of, of course, the problems that came with specifically my figure. I'm pretty sure that uh, it only applies to my figure and most of your figures will be fine. But it's just unfortunate, you know, for me to, to be able to get this figure. And um, weakest also in terms of value because Leonardo actually came with that extra pizza accessory together with Michelangelo that came with that spinning nunchucks accessory, which I think is fantastic. Now, I'm not saying that Raphael is a bad figure whatsoever. He is a fantastic turtle. He is a, an, an awesome figure by itself with clean paint and articulation itself. Details right to his eyes right there is fantastic. You know, so uh, I do highly recommend him. And um, yeah, and that's it for my review, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace! Hey, guys. Welcome back to Geek in the... Yeah. <laughs>